I welcome you all on behalf of Guru KPO. Today I will deliver my topic on the fungus Pegasia. So, my dear friends, as you all know, Pegasia is a coprophyllous fungus. It is a saprophytic fungus. So, my dear friends, there are about 25 species of Pegasia which are found in India. These species are Pegasia catinus, Pegasia echinospora. Pegasia vesiculosa, Pegasia pustulata, and these species of Pegasia, they are found on decaying wood. These are found on rotten logs. These are found on dung, and these are found on the trees. Now, my dear friends, I move towards the vegetative mycelium found in Pegasia, as you are well seeing in the diagram. Well, the Pegasia mycelium is profusely branched. It is very well developed. It is septate and multinucleate. So, my dear friends, the hyphae of the mycelium they ramify themselves inside the substratum, and these hyphae they absorb the nutrients and minerals and water from the soil. Now, friends, I move towards the reproduction in Pegasia. Well, in the species of Pegasia, the asexual reproduction is absent. But in some of the species, like Pegasia rapenda, Pegasia pustulata, reproduction occurs by means of conidia or by means of chlamydospores. So, my dear friends, the tip of the hyphae swells to form the conidiophore. Well, conidiophore is a long cylindrical septate unbranched structure so my dear friends the tip of the conidiophore swells to form a vesicle and on the surface of this vesicle develop numerous conidia these conidia are oval in shape they are elliptical in shape they are hyaline in shape now when the favorable conditions arise these conidia they give rise to a new mycelium now i move towards the chlamydospores these chlamydospores are thick walled resistant cells which arise in the intercalary position on the mycelium and later on when the adverse conditions are there they remain dormant but on the onset of favorable conditions these chlamydospores they germinate by means of the germ tube and form a new mycelium. Now, friends, as you are seeing in the diagram, I move towards the sexual reproduction in Pegasia. Well, it occurs not by means of the specialized sex organs, that is the anthidia and the ugonium. It occurs by means of somatogamous copulation. What do you mean by somatogamous copulation? Well, the hyphae ramify so much that they form a pseudo parenchymatous structure. So, my dear friends, the adjacent cells of the hyphae they come in close contact with each other and their nuclei become very close to form a dikaryon. And this dikaryonic structure is also found in Pegasia vesiculosa. Now, my dear friends, some of the nuclei of the same cell, they also fuse together to form a dikaryon and this condition is known as autogamous pairing. Now, this dikaryotic cell, it gives rise to many ascogenous hyphae. This ascogenous hyphae later give rise to the ascus mother cell. Later, this ascus mother cell gets modified into a club shaped ascus. In this way, the nucleus, which is a diploid nucleus of the ascus, it divides mitotically and meiotically to give rise to the eight ascospores. As the well seen in the diagram, these ascospores are released by the rupture of the tip of the ascus by means of a hissing sound. This apothecium is seen in the diagram and it is the fruiting body of the Pegasia. This apothecium is cup shaped in structure. It is sessile or subsessile. Now friends, we see the ls of the apothecium. It consists of three parts. 
that is the hymenium region, the subhymenium region, and the et expiculum. Now, what is the hymenium region? It is well seen, it is the outermost part, it consists of the SI and the paraphysis, which are arranged at right angles to the surface of the subhymenium. Now, I take the subhymenium. This subhymenium consists of a layer of hyphae which are arranged parallel to each other. Now, I sum up my lecture by coming towards ect excapulum. This is the outermost part of the epothecium. So, my dear friends, the kingdom to which Pajaiza belongs is Mycota. Division is U Mycota. Subdivision is Esco Mycota. Class is Discomycetes, order is Pezygeus, and the family is Pezygeus. So, my dear friends, thank you, thank you, thank you. And for more details, kindly visit my website www.groupkpo.com.